Joaquin Soroya, one of my absolute favorite painters. He was born on February 27, 1863 in Valencia, Spain, another fantastic Spanish painter. The Spanish have provided some of the best painters in all of history. Soroya's parents died when he was only two years old, so he and his sister were raised by his maternal aunt and uncle. When Soroya was 14, he got some art training in Valencia, and then he also received some training from a couple of different teachers, a guy named Caetano Capus and another teacher named Celestiano Asenjo. When he turned 18, he went to Madrid and studied some of the master paintings in the Museo del Prado. Then he went into the military, and then when he was 22, he got a grant, which allowed him to study for four years in Rome, Italy. And that's where he really honed his skills. And then in 1885, he went to Paris, and he was exposed for the first time to modern painting. He saw paintings by Jules Bastien Lepage and Adolf von Menzel, and was greatly influenced by those two guys. And then when he went back to Rome, he studied with Jose Vigneu, Emilio Sala, and Jose Viegas. In 1888, Soroya went back to Valencia to marry Clotilde Garcia del Castillo. He had met her for the first time when he was working in her father's studio. By 1895, Joaquin and Clotilde had three children, Maria, Joaquin, and Elena. And then in 1890, they moved to Madrid. And for about 10 years, Soroya painted large canvases of oriental, mythological, historical, and social subjects for display in salons, international exhibitions, which were held in Madrid, Paris, Venice, Munich, Berlin, and Chicago. The first international attention Soroya got was with another Marguerite, which won a gold medal at the National Exhibition in Madrid, and then it won first prize at the Chicago International Exhibition, where it was acquired and subsequently donated to the Washington University Museum in St. Louis. And then in 1894, he painted this painting, The Return from Fishing. It was a very popular painting at the Paris Salon, and the state purchased it for the Musée du Luxembourg. And then a turning point for Soraya's career was marked by this painting, Sad Inheritance. It was painted in 1899. This is a huge painting. It's seven feet by nine feet, and it depicts children crippled by polio and they're bathing in the sea in Valencia under the supervision of a monk. This painting won the Grand Prix and the Medal of Honor at the Universal Exhibition in Paris. And then in 1901, it won the Medal of Honor at the National Exhibition in Madrid. And this painting also started this lifelong series of seaside paintings that Soroya did that included children, adults, and animals playing and working in and near the water. Of course, Soroya loved the human figure. 
you can see the similarities between Velasquez's Venus at her mirror and this painting. I consider this one of the most beautiful nudes in all of painting. Look at the incredible work on these satin sheets. This is probably his wife. Here's another fantastic nude that he painted. Soroya also loved to paint everyday life in Spain. People working, people playing, people in love, people having fun. The luminosity in these paintings is just eye-popping. Joaquin Soroya died on August 10, 1923. His paintings are considered some of the most beautiful works ever produced. <music>